Here we're taking this yurt apart. It's laced together like a big shoe. Just looking at how this tie ties the roof and the walls together. So it comes up to the roof grommet, down to the wall grommet, and then gets tightened up to a roof grommet, back down to a wall. And the pattern is repeated, so it's more of a, a Z zigzag pattern there. So I'm unstitching the, the lower wall section from the roof section just with this shoelace essentially nylon cord and once the roof itself is disconnected from the side walls the side walls start to fall down like a pair of pants the roof slides up so that's how the the waterproof how the waterproofing works there's an inner and outer layer here this flops over top of the wall and this, uh, this section here with this lip joins the wall and the roof together and then this one flap overlaps everything. It's quite ingenious actually. Just inside the yurt now, checking it out, seeing how it's fastened together. Uh, getting to the roof bit here. This apparently disconnects from inside, so we'll check that out. And we have to figure out how to get the roof off. Just taking a look now on the inside of the yurt, there's this lattice arrangement. Zigzags through the whole wall system. And there's this cable that runs around the interior perimeter. And the walls seem to hang on it from this, this string here and that's every oh I don't know six feet maybe and this cable is actually looks like it's maybe under quite a bit of tension there here now the sides are disconnected from the roof so theoretically, when you've undone all the lacing, the, the structure will stand alone. So there the sides are starting to slide down. Sliding the walls down and separating it from the roof. So here now is the insulation layer that wraps around the whole yurt. Gets tied on the inside to a tension cable. And the outer canvas comes off, and then this comes off. This is the inner and outer roof sections of the yurt. It's a layer of bubble wrap in between canvas on the inside, bubble wrap in between, and the hard waterproof shell on the outside. So in assembly, this will actually be the first layer that goes on, which is the canvas inner layer. So the structure here has a plywood skirt or apron so that it's a smooth surface. This is the ceiling, which is the actually first layer that gets installed once you have your frame up. Canvas inner layer. Here's the yurt structure before any canvas is installed. basic yurt structure before any canvas gets installed. So the rafters here are just have a simple notch in the end and a dowel into this dome. Roof structure down and now this cable comes out. So we're thinking the wall structure folds up like an accordion. Believe it or not, this small cylinder opens out to the entire wall structure.
Here's the platform for the yurt now. 2x6 framing with a 2x6 beam underneath and 2x6 decking in fact. Twelve foot diameter yurt, fully loaded on our utility trailer. That's the walls and the floor, and the truck has all the decking and the canvas. 